what I have done is I've revolutionized snow removal under your car. This is like a Louisville slugger. You just grab this, you step up to the plate, you give her a swing and hit that. Look at the teeth on this. These teeth are going to chew through anything in their way. You flip it over after you get it busted up, now you've got a blade that'll go in under your car, you swing it under your car, and you pull it out. The blade goes into the snow or the dirt, whatever, and this fence holds it in place. So you've got two separate surfaces here. You've got this blade surface and you've got the fence surface that's pulling the debris, whether it's snow, dirt, whatever, out from under your car. So you just get down there on the ground. You don't even have to get down there. You can hold on to the handle and just swing it while you're kneeling next to your car. I've got a video to show you just how easy and how effective this is. So, step up to the plate with the Louisville Slugger, not really the name, but it sure beats grabbing a shovel. Check out my video. This is coming soon to Kickstarter.com. Brad Wilkins, signing off. Oh yeah, check out the teeth on this. This is going to help get right through all that uh, packed ice. We're going to do it from this side first, and let's, let's make this a little bit longer. There we go, now we got a nice long hand. Please watch this slow motion part in full screen mode. There's a small blue arrow under the lower right hand corner. You can easily see the snow falling from under the front bumper and the car dropping because I've carved out so much snow that the weight of the car is crushing the remaining snow that's supporting the car. As I turn the car on, you'll see the headlights come on. The car literally drops down. And in, in full screen mode, you can watch it drop down in two separate parts. So lights are on, and here it goes. You might have to watch it a couple of times to really appreciate how far down the car drops. So if you get stuck in the snow and you don't have time to wait or simply can't wait hours for a roadside assistance crew to help you out. You really need one of these in your car. Now here you'll notice it does take me a little bit of effort to get up the hill. I do have a driveway on a hill so I keep sliding down the hill and that that snow is really greasy but it only took a little little while to get going. There you have it. Didn't take too long. Now keep in mind that uh, I'm backing uphill in the, the slick snow here. That's why it took so long to get up. But it only took a matter of minutes to get free from the uh, the compacted snow to get me moving. Uh, and, uh, probably can't really tell what I did here. 
But there's a lot of snow in there. Signing off.